Hello my sweet friends, your host Shurma here. A very warm welcome to all of you and thank you so much for dropping by. I have a very interesting and fun tutorial to share with you and I'm calling it the magenta rose and the mandala. The materials needed for this project are all listed over here. So let's begin with the tutorial. The first chapter deals with planning the backdrop for the painting. For starters, I have two elements with me. The first being a black side folding note card and the size being 4 inches by 6 inches. The next element is a white watercolor piece and it is of size 3.5 inches by 5 inches. In the next step, I went ahead and dropped some liquid watercolors, pink and yellow on the white watercolor paper and I have also pre-done a mandala design with a very fine point pen and the side of the mandala design is where I am going to create the floral image. Do you see the semicircular pencil marks on the side of the mandala? That is going to be the guide for my floral painting. Now if you would like to know how this kind of a background can be created then please click on the i button which appears on the right hand side of the screen and it will lead you to such a tutorial. Next comes chapter number 2 that is creating the magenta rose in one stroke style of painting. So here is the palette. Let's see what's in there. Permanent rose, purple acrylic color, deep magenta and white acrylic. And I have a flat brush number 6 in hand and I am going to load it with purple and permanent rose and a bit of white. So this is triple loading of the brush. And here I need to blend the colors very well and that will help me to achieve great results. Alright. At this point, I have picked up my flat brush number 4 and I've dipped it in permanent rose and deep magenta and I've created a loose form of the rose. Once happy, I go ahead and pick up my flat brush number 6 and remember I have already loaded it with permanent rose, purple and white. So here is the one stroke style magenta rose in the making. Here I am trying to create the first layer of the petals of the magenta rose. I would like to share with you my thoughts behind choosing the magenta rose and the mandala together for today's project. I believe the rose flower represents lasting beauty and a happy and a throbbing life. They are perhaps the Almighty's most beautiful creation that have a very limited shelf life. Nonetheless, when they bloom, they glorify the joy of life to the fullest. I am sure you agree with me on this point. But then, why the mandala? Well, you know what is a mandala actually? It means a circle. It's a symbolic diagram used in the performance of sacred rites and as an instrument of meditation in Hindu and Buddhist cultures. The mandala represents the universe and it is a guide on the path to enlightenment. The belief is that by entering a mandala and proceeding towards its center, you are guided through the cosmic process of transforming the universe from one of suffering into joy and happiness. 
and the habit of creating mandala is transformative and it is intended to restore inner peace and wisdom within. So you see, because of these reasons, I thought the combination of a rose and a mandala would be extremely intriguing as well as unique. And understanding their attributes will lead us to spiritual bliss. On that note, I come back to the flower painting and here I'm almost towards the bottom of the rose. And here I'm trying to give more definition to the petals, creating more darker and lighter areas. And when I would like to highlight a certain part, I always use more of white acrylic. A rose painting can be tricky, but with a lot of practice, everything and anything can be achieved. Since I do not have any sketch to fall back on, so it's all freehand and I have to be calculative while creating the floral image. And there is a lot of trial and error involved but it's a very fun process and it gives me a lot of peace while painting. And yes, I totally believe that the mighty universe is there to guide me in every step of the way. Well, next I go ahead and pick up my liner brush and I'm just trying to fix the center by adding more of deep magenta and a bit of white. Next comes greenery around the flower painting so here is the palette i have yellow acrylic sap green permanent rose deep magenta and white acrylic on my palette and a flat brush number six in hand and i'm trying to load the brush with sap green and white so here it is double loading of the brush and then I go ahead and add a bit of permanent rose to the mix and that creates a reddish green tinge and a very interesting one at that. Now in the next step I go ahead and pick up my liner brush once again and it is loaded with sap green and I'm trying to paint around the edges of the petals of the magenta rose in order to bring it to the foreground. Initially you see the green color that is the sap green color is very dark because it's right from the tube and certain other sections it is lighter because I've added more of the medium. Here I have gone ahead and added a bit of yellow to the green and that helps to create a very interesting corner. Don't you agree? And there you go. That's a blob of white acrylic on top of yellow. Next comes the interesting one stroke style of leaves. For this I have picked up a flat brush number 6 and I have sap green and a bit of yellow and white on it and I'm trying to create some interesting leaves here. So dear friends are you enjoying the mandala and the magenta rose painting so far and what is your opinion about it? Do you like it? Or would you like to add some more elements to the painting? I would like to know from you. And it would be very nice to read your thoughts. So please put down your thoughts, your opinion, your queries in the comment box below. And I would be very happy 
to read them and also come back with my answers. By the way, if you would like to know more about one stroke painting or you would just like to refresh your floral and leaf skills, then I would encourage you to please visit my past videos and I would be very happy to drop some of the links in the description box below. Alright, back to the leaves now. Mm, if you feel that some of the leaves are lighter here, then yes, I have added more of yellow and white and less of sap green for those particular leaves, hence they are lighter than the rest. I'm adding some more leaves to cover the area, although I might go ahead and trim some part of this painted panel towards the end of the video. Next, I go ahead and pick up my liner brush along with yellow acrylic and I'm trying to create the flower centers by just adding some dots. I think the panel looks good enough at this point of time. So let's move on to the last chapter that is assembling the note card. Having said that, let's go over the elements which we have right now. The first one is the black note card, second is the painted panel, third is a purple corner which I've cut out from a cardstock. The fourth element is a little sentiment. Well, when I put everything together, this is how it looks. So friends, did you have fun watching me create the magenta rose and the mandala note card? Do let me know and I would be very very pleased to hear from you. Thank you for your incredible support and it helps me to reach a larger audience which means a whole lot to me. Do follow me on my social media handles and I would be extremely happy to be in touch with you. As always, thanks for watching till the end. Here are some of my older floral art video tutorials. You might like them. And I'll be back very soon with some more interesting ones. Till then, stay tuned, take good care of yourself and bye-bye.